getting started. We just took on up to the road. And here we go. Now we're hammered down, getting towards my delivery. That's right. As I said in yesterday's uh, closing, we got about uh, three hours worth of driving to do until we get to our customer. So we should be there right around 10.30, 10.45, I'm saying. So that's going to be nice. We'll get that load off and then uh, we got about 100 miles over to our uh, pickup place. So uh, according to my satellite, it's supposed to be ready at later tonight, but maybe they'll be done early loading that load so we'll go find out anyways we'll go down there and we'll see what happens right that's what I'm gonna do anyways well, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day so I hope you guys are joining me on today's vlog if you did leave me a thumbs up so I know you did Looks like there is no wind whatsoever today either. And since I've put in that WD-40 into my air tanks, this is already the second day. I have not had a single issue with my fan wanting to uh, turn on, you know, or stay on, not shut off, you know. I guess it was, I was right. There must have been some moisture in it. And it kept freezing up the uh, switch, so it wouldn't shut off the uh, the, fa the fan. So I guess it must have been sticking a little bit. That's kind of what I had figured out because I used uh, the airline antifreeze in the air tanks a couple of times already, two times for sure. And each time I did that, the fan stopped turning, you know. And so uh, I was pretty sure something like that was going on. And uh, so somebody else suggested uh, using a uh, WD-40, a uh, WD-40, and uh, spray that into your uh, air tank. And so I went ahead and did that. Ever since I done that, I haven't had a single issue, eh? Because the WD-40 will create a little bit of a lubrication, and it doesn't freeze. I've never seen WD-40 freeze yet, so. Uh, so yeah, I guess it's done its job. I'm happy with that. I've also heard it works uh, especially good or especially a good idea to do that when you have an automatic transmission. Uh, apparently a lot of these automatic transmissions are very picky when there's a little bit of moisture somewhere it will freeze inside there and then your uh, transmission is gonna have a hard time shifting or it doesn't wanna shift and all that kind of stuff. I've heard stories like that before so if you have an automatic transmission and you want to drive further north up here where it's cold, might be a good idea for you to invest a little bit in a liquid WD-40 and spray it into your uh, air tanks or have your mechanic do it or whatever, you know. So that way uh, you will have less issues out here on the road. Well, those are my adventure tips again. So anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. We'll see what kind of video we can show you guys today. Here we go guys. We are now only about 37 miles away from getting to our uh, customer to do our delivery. And guess what? This week it looks like we're actually going to enjoy some sunshine. Yeah, that makes me really, really happy. Last week was just a miserable week for me. I don't get it why, but hey, I guess we all have those days or whatever week I guess <laughs> of being miserable this week seems like it's a much better week but yeah we're uh, just cruising right along here we'll probably get our half an hour break in there while delivering we'll see exactly how long it's going to take but uh, really hoping that it won't take too long right but then again you know I gotta get down to my uh, pick up and find out if I can actually get my load tonight, right? Or this afternoon. But I'm 
really hoping I can get it up uh, picked up early. I can get a couple of hours down the road yet, so that way uh, I have a better chance of making my uh, delivery time for uh, for Friday. I'm supposed to be there at 10 a.m. in the morning. We'll see how that goes, but maybe I can even be in Toronto tomorrow night. Who knows? That's a possibility. Yep, so let's make it happen guys. Let's go deliver this load and go from there. We are now loaded. Yes, indeed we are. And we're going to go ahead and go down towards this Wisconsin 43. That's our plan anyways. And I think I have to take this exit. I think they redone this up here. Luckily I noticed it on time. So yeah, here we go. We're going to go ahead and take this. 43 up here and then we're going to be going towards Toronto yes indeed I have already done everything here so let me see here I gotta go well I gotta go towards 43 slide dry done WI172 I43 and then keep to the right at 0 0.2 miles yep that's what I gotta do I'm sure now well, luckily I took that exit up there yeah they've redone this stretch up here it looks like so in 900 feet keep anyways to the right uh, our load was ready it took a little bit till we got unloaded but that was okay I needed my brake there so whatever right so here we are Got a reload already and hammer down towards Toronto. Yeah. Now we're gonna go down for a little bit and then uh, I don't know if I wanna go through Chicago yet here tonight because of all the traffic and everything. I'm thinking it might be terrible trying to get through Chicago, so I might not go through Chicago tonight yet. I might get up towards Chicago and then just call it a day, you know. Continue on this road for five Get up miles. early in the morning and get through Chicago early in the morning tomorrow. But we'll see what we'll do. Another day has been completed, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed it has. We have made it up here to uh, the uh, Petro just south of... Uh, Milwaukee I could have made it further I could have actually made it to the other side of Chicago I had enough hours but you know what it was the evening of before uh, Thanksgiving today uh, is crazy with traffic everywhere right so I figured even up here in Milwaukee was pretty bad with traffic so I decided instead of trying to fight in Chicago rush hour traffic, I'm going to call her quits up here and then get up tomorrow morning, early in the morning and get going. So I went in and had me a shower, had me good supper. And now it's time to close off the show and get out of here, start a new day. But before we do that, I had received a text here on my messenger from uh, Fred DeMar or DeMars whatever uh, asking me to give him a shout out so here you go buddy yeah I do like giving shout outs that's for sure I'm not stuck up like some people that won't give people a shout out uh, to me it don't matter if you're a big channel or you small channel or no channel at all or if you just want a shout out it makes your day I don't care you know but some people won't do it some people just will not give smaller channels like me or other channels that are smaller even than me the bigger channels won't give us a shout out you know so that we can get exposed but hey I don't care to me I do what I do and if you like my channel you're gonna watch it regardless what the other people say right so that's how I look at it anyhow we've had a pretty decent day today it's starting to going pretty good here now lately uh, I've been starting to get in better mood, so uh, we should have uh, better videos here again, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the plan, but hey, guess what? We're on our way to Master Steak, so let's get on out of here so we can make our way to Master Steak and have us an awesome steak again, yeah. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching, and don't forget to check out all the links in the description box and all the written stuff that I have in, under every single video, guys. 
there is a store where I sell t-shirts, coffee mug, there's even an iPhone case uh, that I have custom made, uh, custom made for my logo on there, you know. Uh, all kinds of different t-shirts, hoodies and all that is in there. All kinds of stuff about my truck, if you want to know what kind of cameras I use. All of that information is right down in every single video underneath the description box. So go check out those links and uh, written stuff. Then you'll know a little bit about me. And uh, yeah, if you, uh, I'll probably talk about that another time. But anyways, appreciate you guys watching and we will see you on the next one. Have a good one everybody. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Leave a comment and share this video guys. You, need, you guys need to work on starting to share my videos. Not too many of you guys are actually doing it. So thanks you, uh, thank you very much and have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.